MediaWiki form extension. Um, it was a little bit tricky for me originally, and I'm going to go through it in the video. Uh, should be another good addition to the MediaWiki videos I've set up. Uh, anyway, let's get started. So, I'm already in the um, remote host wiki directory. And this from this, this is the page, uh, the extension. I'm going to go ahead and check it out. The subversion, copy the link address. Extension. I should get it real quick. And so we have a form directory. So that is pre-verse installed down the extension done. Done. And now we need to these to our local settings. PHP. So then it gets a little bit complicated. You see you have to create um, a couple pages, sample form page, which has certain fields that you need, and then basically define the form fields um, in your template, and then sample template, which is what actually stores the, uh, the data that you fill out, and then create a page, and basically. So we'll go ahead through their example here. Um, define a, an example, just copy and paste this into test form. Basically, um, test forms have to have a certain name, so it's whatever name dash form. Your form this is your, your form definition page. And it, so the name pattern. Um, Will get replaced by this um, this radio button. It's defining here, but so let's make it a actual text page name for the description text. And then there's another text field named foobar. Um, it's always fun to have that. I'm basically in title, the name pattern, and a template. Let's go ahead now and make the template. Another tab to special page template called test test template, which I think is already there. Yeah. So here we we'll have um, page header page of things. Bar. So this will get replaced by the date value of the foobar input field when we fill out the form. Let's say page name. Just on and show you that. And then save this. Save this to you. Then we need to, and you can see the actual form. I'm going to shell form form slash test. So I get this every time. Bad form name. Um, and it took me a while to figure out what dealio was with that. Um, and it's basically you need to go to, maybe this is like an old version, but the um, namespace this is your PHP code defines the form and the fields. I think we want yeah 
so this load form function is actually what we use to create the new page based on the form information. And this NS Media Wiki uh, content here is basically this is what I'm looking for when it says in the documentation this Media Wiki um, colon test form. So they made it under the Media Wiki namespace, but if you go to the actual Media Wiki namespace. And then you should be able to see it by going to the <coughs> test form. Like you can't actually create pages in this this namespace because uh, because for some reason. Let's look at the wiki. Face, you would know, site interface customization. Only by only enable users with edit interface permission. Oh, well, that's probably why I don't have that permission. Um, does it even say that? Think it does. But anyway, um, I did not make it in the news. There's a note. Anyway, um, <coughs> so instead of using this, choose the default zero namespace, and then you can create. By choosing that to zero, it will create a your you can use the, the main namespace forms. So here's our test form definition and it's in that namespace. So we come back here, refresh it. Now finds the finds the form definition that allows us to create a new page with using the form. And our template, so we'll go testing page um, beans. And save it. Basically, this is now we have our template filled out with our new form data. And you can see I'm just going and edit here like you would normally. So that is pretty cool. I'll look into the namespace thing a little bit more to figure out a better way to do it, or do it the way they do it. Um, but either way, this is pretty simple. Um, I hope that this will be useful. Um, I think it'll be useful for our use case, the form extension. So, um, anyway, maybe I'll make another video when I figure more things out. Are you on?